Do you see that fuel tank? Now look to your left by pressing the L button. Now you should see a door. Use the L and the R buttons to rotate the camera, okay? Now let's begin. Follow Reed. Use the D-pad to move in the direction you want to go. Can you see that gap ahead? Don't worry about it, just keep running. You'll automatically clear small gaps. Follow me. You should be able to look around corners by pressing the L and R buttons. There are three different types of doors and hatches that are striped and color-coded. You have free access through blue striped doors. To open yellow striped doors, you must find and activate a switch. Switches can often be found right next to the doors, but some may be located in different rooms. Red doors cannot be opened. Once they're closed, that's it. Also, you need to know that there are doors that only work in one direction. You can only enter the door from the blue stripe side. Okay, next exercise. Show, say hello to Big Landman. He's our most skillful ranger. He's a veteran firefighter, and you might have seen him on TV or in the newspapers. Keep your eyes peeled all the time, and you'll be all right. If you play it safe, you won't lose your head. Now we'll show you how to use your jetpack. You can jump up by pressing the jump button. If you press the jump button while in the air, your jetpack will deliver an extra boost that allows you to jump higher and get more distance. Here, watch me, and you'll see what I mean. Keep your eyes on him. Big is on the platform above and to your left. Now press and hold the camera button and use the D-pad to locate him. Can you see him? Okay, now jump onto the platform where Big is standing. Take it easy. You can do it. Good! I think you've got it. Now, press the action button. When you find a console panel with a light on, stand next to it and press the action button. Some doors can be opened this way. Reed is standing next to the door you just opened. Now go find him. Remember, we must always move as quickly and as efficiently as we can. Okay, let's go to the next room. Now, pay attention. This is very important. The crystals. Crystals are concentrated forms of energy. Using its energy, our suits generate a shield which protects us from all fire hazards. Okay, now collect all the crystals in the room. Well done, rookie. Okay, let's move on. Show, meet Tillis. She's also a rookie, just like you. Hi, I'm Tillis. It's nice to meet you. Okay, let's go back to our training exercises. Now you'll learn how to put out fires. Use your pulse laser by pressing the action button. Let me try it. The pulse laser absorbs the flame's energy and transforms the energy into crystals. Your shield increases with each crystal you collect, so it's a very good idea to collect as many crystals as possible. Now it's your turn. Put out the fire and collect the crystals. It's your... Firefighting is a fundamental part of your job. Always try to extinguish any fire that you can. You'll be able to recognize the intensity of the fire by its color. Red flames are weak. Generally, one shot will extinguish them. 
but the blue flames, which you see there, are much tougher to put out. Several shots from your pulse gun are needed to put these flames out. So be careful when you see different colored flames. Next, let me introduce you to the laser blast. Press and hold down the action button for a few seconds. Then release the action button. This allows you to discharge a very powerful blast. Look at the gauge at the bottom of the screen to monitor your charge. Release the button when the gauge is full. Let me try it first. Laser blasts are extremely powerful, but remember crystals cannot be formed when hit with them. So keep an eye on your energy level before using a laser blast. Show, use a laser blast to extinguish the fire in front of you. Don't forget, you won't get any crystals with a laser blast. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, now how to pull off an evasive maneuver. Before an explosion occurs, you'll hear a whistling sound. If you press down on the D-pad before the explosion, you will automatically avoid the blast. Reed will demonstrate this for you. Watch carefully. Show, it's your turn. Got it! Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, this is the last part of our training exercises. This is the last exercise, but the most rewarding part of our job. The rescue and transport of survivors to the burning ship. It's pretty basic. All you need to do is walk up to the survivor. The most important thing to remember is that you need to have at least five crystals in order to generate enough power to transport the survivors. Okay, let's try it. Don't forget to collect the five crystals first. Energy low! I'm out of crystal energy! Coordinates set! Coordinates confirmed. Transport. Transport complete. <sighs> Can't you do better than that? Hopefully, you should be ready for the mission now. Well, make sure you don't get in my way. Chris! We've got an emergency signal. Burning Rangers, let's go. Roger. Roger. 